fight, but they don't really have a whole lot of lockdown to work with, except for, yeah, like you said, that Chronosphere. It's yeah. a bit concerning. I mean, Demon, Shadow Demon's there, but wave back so that Hani would have a reasonable time working with it. I mean, it's still back right now, but and the support, so, oh man, Tree's like, what the hell's happening right now? And he gets taken down. Solo just runs him oh, down with no. that Ion Shell, and now even rises under pressure. So Leap on four, they're gonna commit to this one. Now, Soul doesn't have any more mana to work with, and you see the immediate return of Tree. Some supports, even a rise gets in on the action now, TP's on through, and they're just kinda doing a little bit of a ring around the rosy behind these trees, and they can't find a proper target. They're gonna go ahead and cyclone up the Queen of Pain. They finally get a hold of Hirhani, which is the prize target, and they do take him down. And uh, now they're gonna look to bring it on out. There's your Queen of Pain bursting. Solo is now locked in the corner. They do take down the Faceless Void. Resolution doing big damage with the Ion Shell. Can they burst anyone else down? Two for three, it's a bloodbath. Really interesting and extremely strong. You have Faceless Void, who has some of the best, like, stats for an offlaner in the game. And then you have Darkseer, a hero that... I would say has fallen off of... Oh, hold on. I have to hold that thought as they jump in. They quickly take down Brew. Brew jumps in, thinking he's gonna get something out of it. Now Ace is very, very low. And Solo seems to be on the hunt, jumping on in. Chrono is not gonna catch Brad, but catches the three others. And Rise with no mana to work with any sort of Mystic Flare, obviously. There's your wall gonna be dropped right now, and... Oh, very low. Nice save, but he's not going to get away from this one, I would imagine. No luck right there, but he takes down Skywrath Mage before he goes, making it a two for two. His engagement's not only here in the jungle, but also top lane to look at the converge. We'll catch this one on solo as they quickly blast him down right here to take one more punch. They do end up taking him down. Meanwhile, top lane, you see the back end of that one. It is Brad who hits the deck, so it's going to be somewhat of an off lane. Finding any sort of pinnacle target to get Cyclone right up into the air. Always want to fly. Purges down Hani. Hani gets saved with the living armor. Cyclone again. No Nature's Guide Radiance being also distributed for his team. Rise jumps back. Arise moves in. And uh, there's another disruption, but fly, always want to fly. Not going to be so lucky. This go around. But another jump in comes out. He's a very confident Yoki with that Aegis in hand. Oh, Mystic Flare not going to be near the mark right there. Rise is going to fall for that one. Arise blasts out the Sonic right into the face. And, uh... Man, oh man, it just doesn't end right now. Yoki's still in pursuit. They managed to take down the tree, and it's Silent who picks up the They're probably going to lose the fight. But she's been handing some good ones, and he's going to probably catch another here potentially mid lane. He opens up some right clicks, and now continues to do work here with the benefit of that Mask of Madness. Oh, Sekhar, he goes down. Root's going to be popped out there. Mystic Flare not doing anything as the BKB is promptly popped out. And Skyrath's going to pay for that one. He also falls. Vacuum back very nicely on crit, but he's in biz. They don't have detection. Meanwhile, Arise jumps in. Initiation here. Hani looking to press on forward. Has the exorcism ready to go, but I think ultimately they're just going to secure a deny on this tower, if anything. And uh, they better get it quick here. Oh, he jumps in, splits. It's going to prevent the vacuum wall right in the middle. Exorcism is going to be forced to be popped. And the Cyclone throws Hani right up in the air. Solo gets chopped down from behind because BK Brad jumps on through. But they lose Skyrath Mage. And now, or Ace is on the run to get away from this. And he tries to throw out the Living Armor, does get it on him. The tower ends up going down. He gets taken down by the Clinks. And Yoki now caught out. Nice time walk gets him away, but he still has that Aegis. Puts it to use, but poor Hani gets immediately right clicked down. And it's Clinks who picks up another. Four for one. From Empire. And they just weren't punished in this bottom lane. This Dark Seer and Void did. I mean, they just ran over Fnatic Strider. Oh, jump in mid. Orchid catches resolution. They throw out the Sonic Wave, and it's enough to bring down the Panda. But looking to fire back as Faceless Void jumps in, and he's looking for revenge. He gets it. With that vacuum, and it could be pretty devastating for them as resolution. Still no primal split. He made a jump in play right there, but uh, still has like over 20 seconds before it's available. And we're gonna go. Oh boy, we're gonna see this one unfold as uh, I would imagine Jason Ford will be ready to go with the uh Oh he can't, he's silenced up, he can't go in quite yet. He does get it off right there, catches on the uh one, it's gonna catch down on him, and it's gonna catch down on the tree. So both Centaur and Tree go down, and Hani moves on through with Exorcism, but he's gonna eat big damage, but he has enough burst to quickly take down Silence Clinks, but Soul is also going to town, finishes off, and takes down uh another flimsy supporter, in Skyrath Mage, but oh faceless void! Also goes down. That Orchid plus the Exorcism. Huge damage in a fight. And now they press on. And they'll be able to take this Tier 1 tower. Oh, Yoki jumps in. He wants a rise. He wants that bounty. And he's starting to right-click him down. They can't do a whole lot from the outside, but Clinks can help. But they do burst him down. Silent flies out there on resolution. Has Primal Split to go. Rise gets very low. Pops his uh, Ghost Scepter. And Centaur falls. So Empire do want to 
do. Maybe worried that they might get flanked from behind, but nope. Empire smoke up. They press in. They see Hani. Oh god. They jump through. Oh, immediate silence on resolution. The big burst. Can they take him down? Nice defensive destruction, though. Helps them out. They jump through. Well, they the portal catches Hani. on Hani, who does get forced forward, but ultimately they can't finish him off. The brew goes down. So does Queen of Pain and the tree. And now he's starting to lay out the right clicks. The defensive Yules will be forced out here from Hani. But that's not going to be enough. They just right click him on down. Yoki picks up a double kill and make that a triple as he cleans out the Skyrath Mage. Only the Big Bag Centaur trying to unload, but another disruption defensively, and now he'll fall. Make it five for Empire as they only lose their Brewmaster and Dark Seer. Happy to go in and go toe to toe with anyone and not suffer too much. As there's your Rax taken down now. And uh, what Fnatic can do in this game. Moving on through Stampede, they want to get a hold of him. They'll silence him up. He does have the Aegis, so even if he falls here. He'll be able to bounce well, back, and that's got the time walk to work with. And silence here, though. He goes in, he immediately silences, he gets a chrono back, he holds all four! They're gonna unload, and they take down Queen of Pain! Oh, man, he's out for good. Centaur also goes down. This is gonna be the last strike for Empire. They move on in. Desperate Ghost Scepter, but it gets purged off immediately. There's your defusal going to work, folks. And that's, and that's it. Fnatic, though, not uh, looking to call GG. They don't want to tap out. They're going to make them work for it as uh, Ace does jump back in. But Resolution simply pulls out BKB, and now they're going to open up on him. Couple of right clicks. He goes down. Empire just finished what they started and finished the game. Fantastic play from Empire. A small window it looked like for maybe, just maybe, Fnatic could have came back, but that just quickly it's got so uh, diffused. It's so against Empire's heroes at that point in the game. Like, they have this Queen of Pain hero that has to snowball, you know, falls off until, I would say, Coop is actually really good in the super late game when he gets, like, four or five items.